Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from Matthew chapter five, verse 27. It reads as follows. You have heard that it was said. In Jesus's sermon on the Mount, he notes our verse a number of times in that sermon. You have heard that it was said to the people a long time ago, you shall not murder and anyone who murders is subject to judgment. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery. It has been said, anyone who divorces his wife shall give her a certificate of divorce. Again, you have heard that it was said to the people long ago, do not break your oath, but fulfill to the Lord the vows that you have made. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. You have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. I'm calling these the heavy hitters. Jesus takes a good portion of his Sermon on the Mount to discuss these topics. And for good reason, these topics seem to be the ones that get people's, to get most people's attention. These topics seem to be the ones that most people are interested in. These topics seem to be the ones that most people either exceed in or flounder in, they get tripped up in. Don't believe me? Let me explain. One day I was in the kitchen just sort of doing things and the television was on and I just happened to sort of notice after a while a number of previews for streaming channels or television shows or movies where time after time after time all of these various channels, movies, TV shows coming up, they all sort of had the same themes. I lost count of how many had to deal with murders of some kind, either lighthearted slapstick type murders or really demonic evil looking type murders. Love and relationships and sex were just sort of everywhere in every single situation, every single preview that was airing and that had to do, yes, again, with lighthearted just TV shows or really serious movies coming out. If you looked hard enough, you could see repeatedly motives being an issue, motives being a theme, why people did certain things. You could see vengeance and hate and hating your enemy, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. You could see a lack of integrity throughout that was quite pervasive. And I think those are frequent themes in streaming channels and television shows and movies because one, we do, do sort of deal with them, not on those levels, but not at those extremes. We do sort of deal with them in some sort of form of fashion in our own lives, but people are just sort of fascinated by them. It's sort of like an unwitted moth to a flame. They're just sort of interested. They wanna see kind of what happens. They wanna see the thing played out. And this is not only in fiction, this is happening also in the news and in real life. Just recently, a young black man was beaten to death by five police officers. And when the video footage of what happened came out, some news stations without even seeing it themselves, they just aired it. They wanted to sort of be the first, I guess, to just air it. They knew that people wanted to see it and they, I guess, wanted people to see it on their station. It's almost as if Jesus is teaching us a better way to live in each of these areas because he knows that these are the areas that seem to get most people's attention. He teaches us that you have heard that it was said to not commit murder, but I'm telling you, don't even hate someone in your heart. You have heard that it was said, do not commit adultery, but don't even lust after someone in your heart. That's for men and women. You wanna divorce your spouse for no big reason? Why not try and hang in there instead? Don't break your oath. Instead, just live in integrity all the time and you won't have to worry about breaking your oath. You want vengeance? Why not just be wronged instead and trust the Lord to make it up to you? You want to hate your neighbor? No, love even them. The small things matter, the big things matter, and sometimes that which people are overly fascinated with or are dealing with, the vast amount of people are dealing with, are the very areas that the enemy would like to come and steal, kill, and destroy. But God came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. So one, Let's try and keep our fascination in check regarding these heavy hitters. But two, let's try to live it out, live each of these areas out the way the Lord has instructed us to live so the enemy can't trip us up. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you came, Lord, to give us life and to give us life more abundantly. And that includes in these big topic, big heavy hitter areas, God, that you have made a better way for us to live, Lord, that if we can, yes, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by your leading and guidance, Lord, live the way that you have told us to live, instructed us to live, Lord, we won't have to worry about the repercussions in any of these areas, God, that we can trust you, Lord, in the process. We can trust you in each area, trust you in our heart, God. 
God trusts you internally, trusts you in our minds. God trusts you with our lives, Lord, with our decisions, Lord, with what happens to us. We can trust you, God, that you will make things right for us, that you will renew us, Lord, and make us better, God, that you will renew our circumstances, God, and make them better, Lord, so these heavy hitters won't even be an issue for us, God. Help us also, Lord, to keep our fascinations in check, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be fascinated with the things of God, not necessarily, Lord, with in sensation, God, and the trouble, Lord, and the pain all around us, Lord. We love you, God. Thank you, God, for helping us, Lord, to just sort of walk a more narrow path in these areas, God, and we give you the glory in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video. I would appreciate it, and I would love to have you guys. Guys, have a great day. God loves you very, very much. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. I will see you next time, and God bless you.